Hey bot builders, I'm Gordy from BotPress. What if your chatbot, when it's embedded on your website, speaks first, just like this? It's actually a really simple thing to do in BotPress. Let me show you how. I'm going to start with a new template. This is a grumpy robot template. This is one of my favorites. It's a nice little chatbot that doesn't like talking to humans. I like this template because at its core, it's just ChatGPT. We have this AI task that makes a grumpy response and sends it to the user and then repeats over and over again. For this tutorial, I actually want a helpful bot. So we're going to change from a grumpy AI to a helpful AI. But this is just going to be a few simple changes. First, we will turn off all of the agents. Then we will set our first response to be something helpful instead of something grumpy. And finally, we will change the AI task to be a helpful AI instead of a grumpy AI. And just like that, we should now be able to get a helpful and friendly AI. Look at that, easy enough. But this is not about making a helpful AI. This is about getting a chatbot that talks first in your website. And that is as easy as adding a trigger. Triggers can be made by right-clicking and hitting trigger, or you can add a conversation start trigger from the panel, clicking and dragging like this. Either way, you hook it up to where you want the trigger to start in your node, and that's it. No coding or anything is needed. Let's publish our bot, and I'll show you what it looks like. Back in the admin panel, I'm going to go to the pre-configured tab and copy the code that they give us. And then let me show you my website. Well, it's not my website. This is a website that ChatGPT generated for me for a nice little retro arcade in Singapore. I'm going to paste that code that I copied from the admin panel. Again, it's this code right here. We just copy and paste it into our website. Then once we refresh the website, our bot will be embedded in the website. And because we had that trigger, the bot should talk first. Let's try it out. Hey, look at that. Now we have a nice helpful bot that is embedded in our website and talks first. And my favorite part about this is we didn't have to write any code at all. It was as simple as adding a conversation started trigger into our bot and then connecting it to our flow. This video is going to be the first of a series about ways we can use triggers to have really nice interactions between your bot and the website that it's embedded in. If you can't wait for the follow-up videos in this tutorial series though, you're welcome to join us on our Discord. There's a lot of bot experts like me and others that are there, and we're happy to help answer your bot questions and provide feedback about the bots that you guys build. It's also just generally a fun place to hang out. So there will be links in the description for our Discord channel, as well as the written tutorial for this bot and links where you can download this bot and download this website as well. I'll see you guys in the next Triggers video, and until then, happy bot building.